I'm going to tell you what's trending now. Dan Petty, DDS, Director of Digital Sports for the Denver Post is here. Mm -hmm. You love, you love you some riding. Cycling? What is it with your team? What is it with your team up there? I can't and believe you're you, actually I mean, bringing this up. It wasn't even on my list, but... Well, I want to bring it up. I want to talk. You Scratch something okay, off your list. So you come in here and you love the Tour de France and you love your riding and everything. And your team, the watch team. The team that I cover Girl frequently because they're based out of Boulder. Yeah, well, you love, you, some, you love that. You love to ride the Rockies. Pace the prairie or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Pedal the plains. <laughs> Motor the mountains. So I'm assuming what you're talking about. I'm, <laughs> what, what, I'm talking about what's trending now. Right. One of the guys is found out to be on steroids. So Tom Danielson, company. who's 37 years old, sort of in the twilight, if not the end of his career, tested positive on July 9th in an out-of-competition test. And here's the thing, and this is, this is where the details are, are murky. So the team he's with, Cannondale Garmin, Boulder Bay Squad, they have some of the most rigorous internal team testing, they've said, uh, among any World Tour teams. They test their athletes regularly themselves. They go beyond what uh, the UCI, which is Cycling's Governing Body, requires. But they didn't catch him. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency caught him in an out of, um, out of competition test. I shouldn't say caught. His A sample tested positive for what the writer says was synthetic testosterone. Now... Well, the problem for him is that if his B sample comes back positive, he's done. He's over. And the reason is that he previously admitted to doping when he was riding with Lance Armstrong um, years and years ago with the Discovery Channel team. So this would be a second strike. And in cycling, as in all Olympic sports, when you have two strikes against you in the doping, in doping world, it's, it's over. Well, what's your reaction to it? I think that Jonathan, now the interesting thing, Jonathan Waters, the manager, has said that if any of his riders ever test positive, he's done, he's out, he's, he's finished with the team. This is the first test, um, this is the first rider they've ever had uh, test positive uh, before. I think that this is probably, and this is, I have no, this is just my own interpretation of it, that this is probably a case of more misplaced trust in uh, an athlete and a single athlete than and a problem with an entire team. I do think there are clean riders in the peloton. Do I think that there are still doped up riders in the peloton? Absolutely. They still don't have a good way to test for microdosing EPO where they inject doses of EPO underneath the skin that are very, very difficult to detect. They still can't reliably detect things like drug transfusions. Now something like this, synthetic testosterone, and I should say Danielson says that he's innocent, says that he must have taken contaminated substances of some kind. And they all say that. So it absolutely could be true. I don't know. Um, and what Jonathan uh, Vauders told me yesterday was that he honestly doesn't know what the truth is. Um, so we're just going to wait to see how that plays out. Okay.